Hi everybody, David Earle here with another tip and trick for you. We're going to be focusing on arranging and using logic, some interesting ways in logic that we can do arranging. So the first thing that I'd like to do is check out this song. So we get a nice intro there. And it's a tone. We've got a nice verse. Mm -hmm. That's kind of our chorus section. So what we would normally do is we place markers in here, right? And you'd have these markers so that you could locate very easily uh, within the arrangement. So to create markers, you hit option apostrophe. So that would be what looks like our intro. And then about here, I'll put another marker. And basically, making a marker for every section of the song. Now what's cool about this <clears throat> is I can, using my keypad on my pro keyboard, I can zip around between the markers just by hitting the numbers on the numeric keypad. If I turn on my cycle mode, it'll automatically locate, like the cycle mode will snap to the section that I've selected in the markers. Now markers are cool, and I could go through and I could name the markers by hitting G to open my global tracks, name a marker intro, and then tab, verse, tab, chorus, etc., etc., right? So those are markers, straight up markers. What are arrangement markers? Well, let's look into arrangement markers. How are they different from markers? Well, I'll turn my cycle mode off, select my marker track, delete my markers. I'm going to go into the arrangement markers. So you can choose to have the arrangement markers by hitting Option G and turning on arrangement there. So when you hit the plus sign here, it creates a marker. And we can change the name of that marker to one of these main parts of our song. They have intro, verse, chorus, bridge, and outro. Which are the main parts of any pop song, right? So I'll create an intro, and then I want to find out where my verse starts, probably here. And I'll make my next arrangement marker. Now what's interesting is it's not going to place the arrangement marker directly next to my playhead. I have to move it. But what's very important when you're using arrangement markers, you want to make absolutely sure that over here it says suspend content connection. And I'll show you why in a minute. All right, so I'm going to take this marker and delete it. And then I'll take the intro and I'll expand it. So you create a marker and then expand the marker to fit the next marker and even though my playhead's way over here it's always going to go to the right of the previous marker now it's automatically naming the arrangement markers so I got to change them we have another chorus and over here I think we have our bridge let me check it's my life. nope another verse Another verse section. To you. And that's actually where that chorus starts. So there's my chorus. Let's see what happens here. That sounds like like it's gonna be the bridge. But I'd like to thank her for it all. All right, that's my bridge, and then we go into our outro. I'll just have the outro go 
here. I'm going to make two outros. Yeah, there we go. So this one's slightly different. For it all. For it all. Cool. So there's all our arrangement markers, right? So it's a little different from how we use our other markers, but these markers are very interesting. They do some interesting stuff. The first thing they do is if I turn this off, suspended content connection, if you move the marker, you actually move that whole part of the song. So check it out. If I grab this outro and I move it to the left, all of the regions that were underneath that outro are going to move as well. So this is how you can very quickly move entire sections around and reorder your song. So that's pretty cool. It automatically slices all of the regions underneath the arrangement markers and then moves them together as a group, shoving the other parts around so that everything makes sense. So I'm going to undo that a little bit. <clears throat> and I want to talk a little bit about how Drummer can follow these arrangement markers because Drummer, which we can get by hitting this plus sign and choosing Drummer, it will automatically read the arrangement markers and it's going to try and play something that's appropriate for each section. So here I've got Darcy. Hi, Darcy. And if I hit solo, we're going to listen to what Darcy's going to play for an intro. So listen to the to the way that this drummer is going to change between intro, verse, and chorus. So that's the intro. And that's going to go into a verse. And then we get to a chorus. So at each point, the drummer is changing style depending on the arrangement markers, which is really cool. So arrangement markers are multi-layered, multi-faceted, and very, very cool. What you want to be careful of is, let's say you want to delete an arrangement marker. Well, you got to make sure to go up to Arrangement, click on it, Suspend Content Connection. Because if you don't do that, watch what happens if I go to the verse and hit erase. Takes everything with it. All right, so that's arrangement markers. Be very careful with them. If you want to delete them, suspend content, and just delete them, it's fine. So that's how to use arrangement markers. I hope you enjoyed that, and definitely if you want to see more tips and tricks like this, visit PureMind.com. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at PureMind.com. <laughs>